Hello everyone, I'm Doug Davison from SmiteWorks. I'm going to show you the official Pathfinder licensed content that we'll be releasing uh, on May 2nd, 2017 for Fantasy Grounds. And so we'll continually change this, I'm sure, over time, but this is the functionality as it stands today that's been uh, fully approved and, and ready to run. So without further ado, I will dive right in and show you what you'll see. Uh, so first you'll get your load screen, then you can do uh, create new screen, scroll down on the left, and you'll have like a list of all your rule sets, just like the PF RPG rule set. And then on the extensions, what you're going to want to do is um, you can run it just like that, and that'll have our default theme and, and look and feel uh, that we've had you know for years and years. But if you have purchased the official Pathfinder Core rulebook modules uh, or the add-on from the Paizo site, then you'll have this extra option that says Theme Pathfinder Official. So you'll check that option. Uh, in addition, if you've purchased like the Advanced Players Guide or uh, Bestiary 1, Kingmaker, any of those other ones, you can select these additional uh, themes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just use a loaded campaign that I already have, and I've got a few of these things already checked. Um, and I'll start that up. I'm going to pause the video, and then I'll resume as soon as it's loaded. Okay, so we're all loaded, and the very first thing you're going to see is you'll have um, a desktop with a theme with some buttons along the side, along the top. Uh, these are your campaign buttons here along this right hand edge. You've got your dice here. You've got a uh, hotkey bar down here, which if you hold shift, you get another one. Control, you get another one. Um, you can just pick up dice, roll the dice, and it'll uh, display the result there. So every, all the connected players will show who has rolled it. Uh, in addition, as a GM, whenever you, you uh, chat or type anything, uh, roll initiative. It'll have this cool little Paizo uh, Pathfinder Goblin there that'll speak. Uh, in addition, you can check and speak in different languages uh, and do that too. Um, hello, adventurers. And it'll, uh, you know, write it out there. And then any of the players that have Orin as a list of languages will, will see the translation. So uh, that's all built into the rule set. Um, you can drag and drop if you have like, I don't know, so you have something, an ability that rolls 2d10 and a d6, you could just pick that up and now you have a little dice cup that you've remembered um, there as well. Same thing with modifiers, you can add a modifier here um, and then you can even drag it to there and add it, um, label it, whatever. You can put it on the modifier and then roll the dice. Uh, you can combine all those things together if you want, but that's more uh, like standard Fantasy Grounds functionality. So I'm going to show you just specifically what you get within the official Pathfinder content. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to decorate our desktop and we're going to do that with decals and you'll see this middle part of the desktop. We just refer to, to that as the desktop uh, itself. And so the desktop, uh, when you scroll down the side here, uh, I like to turn on say like show GM roles, um, a couple of these options, show portraits I like to leave on. Uh, the decal image is the one where uh, by default, it'll be off. If I click on that, it shows the SmiteWorks logo, shows the Pathfinder logo here. Uh, and then here you'll have a selection of different um, decal images that you can choose from depending on which uh, modules and which extensions you have loaded. So you'll see all the CR1, CR2, CR3. These are from the core rulebook. Uh, and then once I get through these, you'll see this is from the Advanced Players Guide. A couple of cool images, some of the iconic uh, images that are used as chapter headings are, are often uh, pulled into these decals. So all the players when they'll connect in will see the same uh, the same thing. So just a lot of different options. You can kind of use that to help set the tone or the mood. So I'm just going to cycle back. Uh, oh, we'll use this one from Keymaker. This is pretty nice. Okay, so you'll get that. You'll get the desktop uh, decal. In addition, uh, if you go into your library, you'll open it up and you'll see that there's different uh, little small buttons for each of these areas. You can always click library and then you can jump right to like items for instance or you can jump into like parcels or any of these. I don't have any any data loaded so I'm going to show you real quickly what you'll get is you have um, let me type in my search bar here PFRPG. So these are the ones that are built in. You got the basic rules you got the bestiary um, and then any other modules that you have loaded. See magic items. Uh, that is what comes directly within uh, Fantasy Grounds today without buying anything at all. And you'll see as I load these in, it'll add them here. But what we're going to show you is we're going to show you the official content. So I'm going to show you the Pathfinder Core 
uh, and then we've got the bestiary as well. I'll show you that in just a minute. So the Pathfinder core rules will pull up and um, the first thing it's going to give you, you can make this window bigger, is a reference manual which is essentially the book material in a readable format um, and then you can pop out any of the images by clicking on the link and then you can right click and share that with the players when they're connected. So um, you know it gives you something that you can kind of read through just like you would the, the book or a PDF. You'll have it all available there and uh, one of the nice things about this is if you have a, a discussion about let's say a specific um, skill or about aiding another uh, taking 10 and 20 if you wanted to, to share that with your players when they're connected you'll see this little piezo icon at the top of the golem click on that and it pops that page out and then you can right click and say share that sheet with the players the players will be able to read through that so you basically let them read the same part of the book that you're reading makes it really really convenient and easy same thing with feats and abilities you can pull up any of those uh, share those you can do a search uh, so like if I wanted to look for rage for instance then th these are all of the sections that mention uh, rage that you can kind of get into so uh, lots of different ways you can look at it it's got a section on each of the, the races uh, on the classes here you can um, see the chart on all of the abilities um, and this is all just presentation so there's not any real functionality in this um, other than just the ability to share data uh, you know easily and you can collapse it or you can expand it out just for specific check you know sections if you wanted to look at just combat and you wanted to talk about attacks of opportunity you know you, you have that there and it's easy to reference so I think that's going to be a great um, a great tool to help you run your game and keep your game running smoothly especially if you have any new players that are new to uh, Pathfinder or to role-playing games just in general so there's your reference manual uh, the other stuff that you'll have is you'll have just a list of straight images all of those images that are there you can pop those all out individually or you can search for them and then you can just share them out as well you want to show them what a bard looks like for instance um, you know you can do a search for a barbarian and now uh, you've got a barbarian that you can share with the players all right so you've got more content more data um, you've got uh, equipment armor I'm going to show you that when I get into building an actual character uh, and let's let's jump right into that so um, what you'll have here is you'll have the GM button which gives you this set of default items you've got your character your uh, images tables story this is what I use when I'm um, go going to GM a game and I want to prep the game in advance you know I might uh, be creating content linking stuff together my story elements getting my adventure all ready to go setting up my quest entering NPCs all that kind of stuff um, when I'm in play mode I'll click over to play and then this figures out this is the, the stuff that we expect that you will use the most uh, if you wanted to just modify that and say well I like that but I'm also going to refer to the skills frequently then you can just check this box and it'll add it to the side and then if you add you know too many of these and it'll it'll intelligently expand or shrink it uh, based off of um, you know how you're going to use it the create PC option is great when you're actually creating your characters because it shows you the characters the classes feats all that sort of stuff already now uh, you can go on a book by book basis um, when you have the add on for the Pathfinder core rulebook you can just grab this and grab the classes uh, or you could even use the ones that are in the basic you know rules here so the basic rules will show you like just a very stripped down complete just open gaming license version of that same content but if I look at the Pathfinder core rules version if I pull it up then it's uh, it's got more data first off uh, and then here it's got you know the descriptions that's all pulled out it's not uh, presented in exactly the same way it is in the reference manual so the reference manual is nice to just look at and view uh, but then it does have this other tab with all of the stuff split out to help with leveling so it has the class skills it has the ranks uh, what your saving throws are your base attack uh, progression your hit die and then it has a link to each of your special abilities and what level that class gets that ability and this comes in handy uh, and I'll show you very soon if I create a new character so I'll go to characters I'll use our list editor window I'll add in a new character whoops uh, let me just get this out of the way we'll just use uh, the buttons here on the side so let's let's make a barbarian barbarian the barbarian and we need a, an image this is the portrait 
So you'll just click on that, and here I've got Pathfinder. Oops, let me go back. I have Pathfinder, and these are images that we've included with it. So you'll have um, let's do let's do a dwarf, and let's grab. We'll say this guy's a barbarian, or barbarian, as the case may be, and let's give him a race. So we're going to grab the races, which should be here. And we're going to grab, so in this case here, you'll see on the side, these are all the races I have. So any of the books that you have will show up in the listing here. So right now I have just the, the basic rules, which is the SRD uh, Open Gaming License Material version, or I've got the, the one from the, the book that, uh, that I bought, the official version. So let's grab the Pathfinder Core rulebook here. We'll just drag it over to the race, uh, and you'll see in the background here, this is all it did. So it added uh, Dwarf to, to the character. And I should have probably, you see it, it increased my constitution, increased my wisdom. You'll want to actually get those set up first. So let's, let's say I've got a, whoops, he's a really, really got a good constitution. And it says he's got a poor, there we go. We'll, we'll give him some basic stats here. So he's not completely plain. Um, you'll want to roll for your hit points um, as well. And then, you know, once you've got the, that in there you want to add this class so if I grab his class I'm jumping around a lot I'm sorry um, under abilities you'll see his racial traits are all linked in now so when I'm playing it has my proficiency listed and it has what slow and steady means I can pull it up and look at it I can share that uh, to to the chat window for someone else to pull up and look at if they have that book in that resource open as a DM you can actually um, go into your modules window and you can show your loaded material and you can put a check mark next to any of the books that you want your players to be able to reference. So that's a, a nice easy way for, for them to be able to access the content too. All right, so we've got um, all of his special abilities as races, but we now we need a class. So I'm gonna go back to the main tab, I'm gonna pull up the classes and I'm gonna grab a barbarian from the core rules and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna drop it in and now it's gonna ask, okay, what's your favorite class? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the barbarian and again, He's listed twice, um, and I don't want the first one. I want the second one because this is, um, normally you'll only have one of those open. I don't see any real reason why you'd want to, in fact, let's close that down. Let's go to our loaded modules, and I'll turn off the basic rules. This is just kind of redundant information, and we don't need it since we have the official version. So now that'll make it a little simpler. All right, so now, again, uh, his favorite class, is going to be the barbarian here and here let's see do you want to give him plus one hit point or plus one skill so let's give him plus one hit point and you'll see it rolled as uh, it said his defa default hit points and the rest of the stuff it did is uh, it added to his fortitude saving throw set his max hit points in the beginning um, added his feature for rage and now if i look at his abilities you'll see that he has fast movement and he has rage uh, and then you can go in, you can grab his feats, and he'll, he's a you know, level one character, so you can grab you know, whatever feat you want. This is the, the paging, so you can go from you know, one page to the next. So let's give him power attack. Instead of searching, instead of uh, looking through, I can just do a search. So type in the first couple characters, grab power attack, drop it over. Um, and now I've got that referenced tells me what it is um, and let's grab some weapons and some equipment and I'll show you how you can level up leveling up is pretty easy too so let's grab some items and here this these are all the items uh, so I can go into my library there's a couple ways to get to it I can go in here and I can say I, I want armor and it pulls up the armor sheet which is maybe a little bit nicer to look at uh, than here and then I can drag and drop an armor uh, so let's grab his inventory Let's throw a studded leather on him. And now if I look at his um, armor class, you'll see he's got a 15 here. Under combat, it added the armor value in there for me automatically. I can modify that if for some reason I've got you know some other special ability that I want to override. I can, I can adjust any of the uh, subcomponents of armor class for my character. But it'll help you know kind of get me started. Uh, it has my base attack bonus in there. If I grab a weapon, I can do the same sort of thing. So I can 
filter it by type and I can look at uh, weapons here and I can do a search or I can look at them or again I can go in and this is probably what I would recommend is I could just look at them all and decide okay well which kind of weapon do I want him to have he's a dwarf I'll give him a dwarven war axe that sounds good so I'll drag that into the inventory and let's give him like um, maybe a crossbow unless you wanted to have uh, longbow shooting dwarves which I think caused a little stir lately all right so let's do a search for crossbow and let's grab a heavy crossbow drop that over and now what you will see is if I go to my actions tab now I've got my dwarven war axe and my heavy crossbow and if I wanted to roll an attack on that I can just grab it from here roll the attack and it'll apply the bonus it knows that it's a melee weapon if I'm doing my attack against an NPC it'll figure out whether that hits or misses and then when I'm ready to drop damage I can roll the damage or I can drop it directly on a target um, I could drag this from here onto a target or I can drag my hit onto a target and it'll tell me if I succeeded or if I failed. It'll also take into effect um, the conditions of the, of the target if the target's prone for instance or if it's not prone if it has cover that sort of stuff uh, you can you can link all that stuff together. Alright so that's um, you get your combat you get your skills you'll just spend your skills here and it'll tell you how many points you've spent so far um, so you can add your ranks in and it's got um, you hover over any of these it tells you whether or not this is a class skill so here it's got my class skills already preset because of the class that I chose uh, and then if I have any miscellaneous bonuses I can always override it here or I can just put in my rank so if I've got um, say four ranks in that or you know whatever just fill this out like you would normally uh, probably not fly but you get the idea uh, and then under abilities, if you wanted to add any more uh, feats, uh, fill out the rest of your inventory, and uh, and then you're pretty much ready to go. And then when you're ready to level up, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your classes, and I'll just grab Barbarian again, and I'll drop it on. And now I can choose that again, and now you'll see if I go back to my abilities, now I've got um, extra abilities based off of the class. So again, Barbarian, if I look at the level progression... Uh, on, le on second level, he should have gotten Rage Power and Uncanny Dodge. He'll get Trap Sense uh, plus one if I do another level. So let's add that. Give him another plus one hit point. Now he's up to 41 hit points. And now he's got, um, there you go, his Trap Sense plus one. Now if I wanted a multi-class, let's say I wanted to go with, um, I don't know, say a Rogue. Then I could add the rogue in, just drag it in, and now I'm a barbarian three rogue one. You hit the uh, magnifying glass. Anytime you see a magnifying glass, hit that. It'll pop up the window, and now you can kind of see uh, where it's using here. It's a reminder of how many skill points I've used, how many I've left, uh, and where they came from, uh, in case that's useful. And if I needed to, to see what the rogue has, I don't have to go back to the classes. I can just go to my character sheet and pop up the description there. Okay, so the next thing is um, Rage Power. So here's an example where it tells you that you received a Rage Power as you leveled up. Uh, but that one uh, is something that you can choose from. You've got a, a large list of items you can choose from. The same thing is, is true for like Cleric Domains and Sorcerer Bloodline abilities, that sort of thing. So uh, where we decided to put that is if you go to your library, here if you go into the Core Rule Books, and then you go to Special Abilities, we have those kind of broken out. So here's a list of all the different, you've got arcane schools, and if I click on that, it'll tell me you know, what that means. I can drag those to my character. Here are the different powers that come with those different schools. Um, and you'll see I've got, those are all kind of split out. Um, let's see. The other things we have, uh, we have our barbarian rage power. So let's grab, go ahead and grab, let's see, animal fury. That one's probably good. So let's say I grabbed animal fury, for instance. But um, the cleric domains, those show up. It tells you the other, you know, what you get for there. Then you would pick your domain powers. Um, your rogues, you get your rogue talents when you get those. You can drag those over. Sorcerer bloodlines are split out. And then you've got your bloodline powers as well. So um, that's how we chose to implement that functionality feature. You just drag them over. Uh, and then you've got an easy reference that you can refer back to 
later on instead of having to flip back to the rules or you know what have you okay so um, so you get those let's see what else do you get uh, I guess you get spells that's a that's a big thing so here if I go into the spells you'll see we've got that split out there's an index if you just click on that that has every single spell from the core rulebook and you can do a search here um, or you can pull it up so if I wanted to look for you know the old magic missile just type in the first couple characters and then uh, you can pop it from there it's got um, the levels listed from every different source um, you know where you can possibly have it, what classes support it and then as we continually expand more classes those spells are all pretty much ready to run and then more class, uh, more spells will drop into those those lists for us automatically uh, in addition you can go right to here and go to spells and you can filter it by school or you can filter it by source uh, as well so if you wanted to say okay well I'm a I guess I can add another class to him let's say I'm going to add a um, cleric to him for instance then you can look at just cleric zero uh, your cantrips or you can look at your first level spells pull from that list or you can go into it here and say okay I want to grab my druid spells for instance it's got all your orisons you can drag and drop those to your character sheet as well um, let's go ahead and grab I'm gonna make this character he's gonna be a nice multi-class character I'm gonna make him a sorcerer I think uh, and then we'll be able to go from there so let's say sorcerer oops there we go now he's a sorcerer now under his abilities his actions sorry his actions now he's got a sorcerer caster level one you can click on the magnifying glass and you can see how many spells he gets per level uh, all that sort of jazz um, if he gets spell penetration later on you can modify that if he has uh, maybe he's a derived um, version of the sorcerer that doesn't use charisma then you can toggle it and say okay well he actually uses his strength score or his con or you know whatever so it's it's pretty much as flexible as you need it to be for your own campaigns uh, and then here you'll just grab your spells grab sorcerers um, and I can grab his orisons let's say he can do uh, light just drag it over drag over his first level spells let's give him um, maybe enlarge person protection from evil and uh, let's say shocking grasp and chill all right and now you can go into standard mode preparation mode combat whatever uh, to run it and here if you click on the the link it'll tell you uh, you know what the extra if it has an attack value for instance like shocking grasp has uh, does 1d6 electricity it's a melee touch attack so you can actually drop your attack on a target um, and it'll help you run your character oh, look at that so it may or may not have confirmed and then you could drop your damage on your target as well and it would roll the damage so um, yeah so that that is uh, kind of the spells and then you know feel free to modify do whatever if you have more than one spellcaster class it'll show them up as different groupings here and then um, you can use that so that's pretty much the core rulebook material right there uh, I'll do another video. I'll link to it uh, as well for like the bestiary to show you what you get with that. That's really pretty cool. Uh, I think we've expanded above and beyond what you get with the open gaming license, and then I'll show you some adventure stuff. So uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot for watching.